everyone and welcome to the next card in the That Thing Called Love series. Um, usually when I am thinking about doing my online workshops and classes and stuff, I usually try to have a sample ready. But this one, I'm just winging it. I found a sketch on Pinterest that I thought was totally cute. And I thought that it went well with the... Um, what I love stamp set. Um, now this stamp set is a celebration stamp set. You can receive this for free if you make a $50 order um, that is before shipping and tax. Uh, you can receive this for free. So for every $50 you spend you can receive a free stamp set or um, paper pack or um, they have like a project life kit in there. Um, what else? You can also get this um, for free by hosting your own party. Um, you can also get it for free by joining Stamping Up. And you can get two celebration items for free. So, you, so you're going to get, for $99, you get $155 worth of free, well not free product because you're spending $99. But you can get um, one hundred and fifty-five dollars of product. So you get you. So you're going to select one hundred and twenty-five dollars, and then you get two celebration items on top of that that are valued at fifteen dollars a piece. So it. So this is honestly a great time to join Stampin' Up. I rejoined Stampin' Up back in March of two thousand and fifteen while cele celebration was still going on because it was just such a great deal to come back. So. That's something to think about. Also, something to think about is when you sign up to be a demonstrator, if you're thinking about, oh, I don't want to have to deal with sales. I don't like selling to people. I get you. I understand you. I'm in that same boat because I don't consider myself a seller. Um, but you can join in as a hobbyist and get that great. You start off with 20% and then um, the way our new compensation plan goes, depending on your title, you can earn even more um, product. So like for example, I am considered to be a bronze elite. That means I have had over um, a one year period, I've had at least $1,800 of sales. Um, some of it is from things that people have purchased off my website. A lot of it is my own shopping. And so I'm considered to be a bronze elite. I'm trying to work to make my silver title, my, yeah, my, the title of silver. So in order to get silver, I have to, um, get one recruit. That's all I need is one recruit to get my silver title. But at a bronze elite, I do get a 25% discount versus the 20%. So, you know, that extra 5% is is great. And then that's even on top if you do sales of, I want to say it's over five or $600 that you get an extra 4% in volume rebates. So, so it's kind of good. Something to think about. I know that's what I did when I decided to rejoin Stamping Up. So, we're using this stamp set today. And we're also using the Love Blossoms. We're continuing to use the Love Blossoms paper pack. So, I have everything already done for you guys. Because I did a lot of um, fussy cutting. And I don't like to fussy cut on camera. So, I just... I did those while I was watching TV last night. So, so that way everything was done. We're going to get started with the inside first. So for the inside, I just have, uh, so this is rose red cut down to four and a quarter by 11 and scored at five and a half to make an A2 size card. Then I have this piece of Whisper White. And actually before I layer this down, I'm going to use this rose red, I mean this um, Love Blossoms pack. I'm doing the right side. And I'm just going to layer this up at the bottom. Okay. And then we're going to layer 
this in right there. Mm, that looks off. So when you're putting in your cardstock and stuff, you really don't want to press down on anything because you want to make sure that everything is um, centered correctly. And oh, God, I hope I didn't cut this paper wrong. Uh, that's okay. We can hide that mistake. That's the one thing about paper crafting. You can hide your mistakes. Okay. So, I want to go ahead and stamp my sentiment. So, I'm going to use the sentiment, Know What I Love You. So, I'm going to put the U on the inside. And I'm going to use my rose red ink. Okay. All right, so now let's get down to the front. Just gonna clean off my stamp. Okay, so on the front, I have this piece of um, designer series paper. And this is cut out at four by um, five and a quarter. Okay. Then I have this piece here that is cut out at four by one and a half. And then I have this piece here that is um, one and a quarter by four. So before I adhere this together, I'm going to go ahead and stamp the sentiment from that. Okay, because this is going to let me be able to place my flowers where I want to. I love this rose red color. So I'm going to stamp that right here off to the right. Okay. Then we're going to Okay, so I need to do just a little bit of trimming. I'm gonna use my little paper snips right there. Okay, and then we're going to add this right there. a little bit higher okay so now we have our little floral pieces here so you are gonna need some glue dots 
I have my, I bought this from um, Michael's, a little thing to hold your glue dots. So I'm just okay. So you just want to figure out where you want this to be. Okay, so now we need to figure out how we want our flowers to be positioned. So this is the way that the sketch went. dimensionals you could use either one or two on each put it that way okay so there we go what I love about you no but <laughs> know what I love you so this makes a very cute and simple Valentine's Day card for anybody in your life. Um, since it's a little bit floral, so you might want to give it to a girl. Um, but it's great for your daughter, your mother, anybody. So thank you for joining me today. Bye-bye.